Hey everyone, Ali Reza here and welcome back to another video. So in this one we are going to look at how we can control the brightness, the contrast and the saturations of our materials and textures in Arial. Here as you can see I have a material instance assigned to my cube here and here I am able to control the brightness, the contrast and saturation. Here as you can see when I bump up this value here, the brightness is changed. When I play with this, I'm able to control the contrast and when I play with this I'm able to control the saturation all right now let's see how we can set this up here I have a texture that I'm gonna use for my albedo in my material and I uh, grabbed it from the quick cell mega scans assets Next, I have a master material and then I have a material instance from that master. So let's delete this here and start from scratch to show you guys how we can set this up. So here, just right click, go to material and name it M underscore surface. This is going to be our master material. So this is the reason that we are using M here. For our material instance, we will use MI. So here I open up your master and then drag off this tile here and plug it into the base color. Now assign the material to the cube and now we are ready to go. We want to be able to control the brightness, the saturation, and uh, the contrast of the texture. First of all, you can just open up your texture here and play with these values here. You can see that we have brightness here. So for example, if you put it on 2 or 3, you can see that it changes the brightness. We have all sorts of controls here. For example, we have saturation. So if you put it on 0, it's going to be a black and white picture. But the thing here is that if we use this method and change the properties of the texture itself, it will affect all the materials that are using this texture. So it's better to not play with these values here and change the properties in our material. Here we are going to set up some nodes that gives us the control to change the properties and next we are going to make a material instance and using that instance we are able to control the properties of each material separately which is a much more efficient way to do the job for the brightness we need a multiply node so drag off a wire search for multiply and then for the b value hold one on your keyboard at a constant and plug it in the default value should be 1, so it's multiplied by 1 and it won't change. And here as you can see, it's looking the same. But if we set the default value on 0, it will mess up our texture here. So this will be our brightness. Next, we are going for our contrast. For the contrast, we need a power node. So search for power. Again, hold 1 and left click, plug it in and set the default value on 1. And next, we need a desaturation node for the control of the saturation. So drag of a wire, search for desaturation and here add it to your graph. This is a desaturation, so in order to be able to control it properly, we need a 1 minus node here. And then we can add our constant to it. And of course, the default value should be 1, and now we are ready to go. In order to be able to see these values in our material instance, we need to turn them into parameters. So here, select it, right click convert to parameter and name it brightness this is our contrast and 
and this is our saturation. Yeah, that's it. Now we are good to go. Just go to your content browser, create a material instance. Let's name it MI surface assign it to the cube open it up and now here you can see that we have these values here this is our brightness which is working perfectly this is our contrast and this is our saturation now you can have several objects with different material instances for example you can I'll duplicate this, assign it to this, and use different values here. Again, duplicate, assign this, and this time go with something like this. Yeah, that's how you can get the job done. You can also repeat these nodes for your other textures as well. For example, you can do this for your roughness, your metallic, your uh, MSF, your ambient occlusion, and this way you can control how your textures look. Thank you guys for watching, and if you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.